in the last seven years. I have traveled to many countries. The Kingdom of Jaffna. During that time, this island has always come to my mind. Elephants, cultures, tok toks everywhere, stunning nature. And tribes with customs and rituals different from all over the world. This is not Papua New Guinea, Taiwan or Iceland. This is Sri Lanka. This is Nalur festival. Welcome to Sri Lanka. The strangest festival in the world. So, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island located south of India. Its capital is Colombo. The island is called the teardrop of India because of its location and shape on the Ceylon, an island smaller than Tasmania, yet with a population as large as that of Australia, has been protected by Britain for nearly 150 years. It was called Ceylon for a while. It gained independence from Britain in 1948 and entered into a civil war that lasted a quarter of a century. One of the world's longest and most bitter civil wars. In 2022, Sri Lanka declared complete bankruptcy and was unable to pay its debts, resulting in the country entering a state of turmoil, instability and high inflation. Today, Sri Lanka is stable and moving towards recovery. Sri Lanka is no longer a bankrupt nation. It relies for its income on exports, tourism and remittances from expats. Today is the Independence Day for me. More than 25 different festivals are organized annually in this country. This is real? Yeah, this is real. Can I touch? There's a secret, longing to be discovered. Today we arrived in the capital, Colombo. And we will go to the far north. But we must first start from the most beautiful mosque in the country. Located in the middle of the capital, Colombo, the Red Mosque. And get to know the Muslims of Sri Lanka. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are, which mosque is this? Red Masjid, Al Masjid Al Ahmar. Masjid Al Ahmar. It is one of the most beautiful mosques in Sri Lanka and Colombo, and it is more than a hundred years old. You speak Arabic? Yeah, yeah okay. Where did you learn Arabic? I'm in Sri Lanka, in Jamia to Colombo, uh, in my, my hometown in Matale. Matale? Okay, mashallah. He learned Arabic here and is an imam at the mosque. Yes, I'm an imam in this mosque and a founder of this mosque. You're a founder too? Yes. God bless. My name is Muhammad bin Iqbal. Muhammad bin Iqbal? Yes. Inshallah, you're so young, man. Yes, I'm 22. 22? Yes. Wow. <laughs> How old are you? I'm old. Don't even count. Don't even count. Cut, 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 cut. Now we are on the rooftop. Yes. Okay, now we, you can see the minaret of the Masjid Dome. That's also shapes and then colors look like a pomegranate, Shefaket Roman. Oh, they designed it to look like a pomegranate. Look at the minaret. You can see the entire city of Colombo from here. The port is behind us, right? God bless. It is very beautiful. Like pomegranates, they chose the white and red just like the pomegranate's color from the inside. Why pomegranate fruit specifically? Because it is mentioned in the Qur'an that it is a fruit from heaven. Allah Almighty is truthful. That's the pomegranate part. How many manara? In the total, 49 minaras. Are there many Muslims here in Sri Lanka? The Buddhist is 70% and then Hindus and Christianis and then Muslims. And this one we built on 1908 by wow. South Indian Muslim traders. And look at the building, how many windows here, like, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Sri 
Before we continue, I want to ask you for your support because this video was not easy. This is from Epidemic Sound. They're supporting the video. Don't forget the big library they have. The biggest library of music and sound effects you'll ever see. We've been working with them for two years, guys. I would recommend it to every content creator. It's the largest music library and they have a great variety of music where you can find music for any country in the world you want. Epidemic Sound, thank you very much. Visit their website to support us. The link is in the description box. Don't forget, we are in Sri Lanka now because of your support and their support. We set off to the far north to the city of Jaffna, which was an ancient kingdom. We went to see the preparations and find out the cause of the strange bulge on their necks. The festival is approaching, the biggest festival in Sri Lanka and in the whole region. It will start tomorrow. Let's see the preparations now. Shoes are off. You have to take off your shoes and walk barefoot. How big this festival is going to be? It's one of the biggest festivals on the island, longest festivals on the island and a very spectacular spectacular festival that very rarely people know of. Jaffna. Jaffna. And they, and have, they have this, this uh, uh, they have this back muscle. I don't know what it is on the back of their necks. And it was formed because they carry their God. There's no God but Allah. This is the northernmost city in Sri Lanka on this wondrous island. The magical island. Yes. They will put their God on this and walk him around the whole city. They lift him up. How many people can hold it? When I was starting that festival, we are lifting our God in outside. You lift it like this? Yeah, lift it like this. This is real? Yeah, this is real. Can I touch? Yeah, no problem. It's this like a muscle. Like muscle? Yeah, like a muscle. When, I, when I, we are touching the here, he has coming like boom like that, no? Okay. The same thing here. We okay. are putting the heavy weight here. Heavy weight? Yeah, heavy weight. For every day. That's what every day? For how long are you doing this? My uh, age is 40. It started from 9. <laughs> After tomorrow? You? All of them will participate in the lifting. I don't know how this muscle was formed. This is the first time I've seen it. This temple is plated with gold. The kingdom of Jaffna. This was a kingdom. A kingdom. Okay, Tamil people. Yes. They call them Tamil people. Then we went to try the food in this city. Seafood is their most popular food. But fish here is eaten with curry, which is very spicy. So we went and got fish from the fish market. We're in Jaffna in Sri Lanka, guys. India is in this direction. We are in the far north of Sri Lanka. We had to drive 10 hours to get here from the capital. There's no other way to get here except this way. You have to take a car for 10 hours to get here. The culture here is full of mysteries. People here speak a language called Tamil, which is also found in southern India. Their culture is different. Even the culture of southern Sri Lanka is different from northern Sri Lanka. One of the most famous foods in Sri Lanka here is the blue crab. There's a strange story behind it. They say that they export it to all parts of the world. One of the most sweetest crab meats in the world exists here and in USA. Very, very delicious. That's why even the Dutch came and ruled this country. Not only the Dutch, in the 1200s, there was a Malaysian king that came and ruled this country. Then the Dutch came, the Portuguese came. They all wanted a part of this particular seafood. It may look very simple and humble, but they're earning a lot of money. We went to a house where we were hosted to try the food. So curry is a must in, in Sri Lanka? Yeah, curry is a must. Uh, really? Really. What is the main dish in, in Sri Lanka? Number one. Number one, actually, we have rice and curry. This is a blue crab we just got today from the sea. Yep. And it's famous in Jaffna. Why the food here is so special? I want them to know, like... Because the waters are special, the land is special. That's why it's called a magical island. Welcome to Sri Lanka. The magical island. 
Guys, wait, this is a meat. What is a crab? Crab. Ah, yeah, yeah, but does it look blue? No, obviously after you cook it, it becomes a different okay. color. Wait, the... It will become orange Wait. color. Yes. It's a lot of spicy. This is how so spicy. It's become karahi now. This is how the... Crab, ladies and gentlemen. Look how they added a lot of spices to it. Look how it turned out. This is how they cook crab in Sri Lanka. What? Spicy or? It is spicy. Okay, okay. And with the rice, you guys Rice and there's other things coming as well. Yeah, it's with the smaller crab. Mm. Good, looks yes. good. Yes. Allah, bismillah, bismillah. Okay, this is our beginning in Jaffna. One second, there are two more curries. Two more curries? What? <laughs> Just open it. Oh! Yeah. This is the flesh. See? Allah. Wow! That's so rich inside. And meaty. Mmm. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. It's so good, man. Now, this is Jaffna crab curry. Seriously. Man, this is. And you just. Oh! <laughs> this <laughs> I was excited, sorry. Guys. <laughs> The crab is different here. Fresh, delicious, and spicy. Spicy crab. First time. <laughs> that, that's special. Have you ever had crab with curry? Tell me in the comments. Huh? Mm. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. They don't have cafes. No coffee in, in this town. <laughs> Only ice cream. <laughs> Jaffna, ice cream. We're waiting for the festival. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming tomorrow. Look how they are gathering in front of the temple. They are all standing in one line. Something's going to come out, but I don't know what it is. The second day has come, and the festival has begun. This is kind of a sacrifice. This is the start of the day. It is no, 10 a.m. They'll be bringing different gods every day. Out every day? For 25 to 30 days. Oh my God. She says they will bring a different god every day and parade him down the street. They say they sacrifice themselves, so they roll on the ground in high temperatures. They're making a sacrifice, look. They roll and roll around the entire temple. There's an enormous number of people. There are people who deviate from the track, so you find them rolling into the street by mistake. Hey, come out! He got off track. Their families stand watching like... They're proud of them. The sound coming out from the temple is strange. Looks like a military exercise. A strenuous exercise. His son is 10 years old, so he supports him and pushes him. No t-shirt, shirtless. She said shirt, no. No shoes. No, no shoes. Do you know how do they get this bulge? It's because they carry their god all day. I take, I take off. In order to walk with them, I have to take off my shirt. You're holding. Yeah, yeah. Always. 
He participates in lifting. Very big. How old are you? You? 67. 67? Okay, okay. He's the oldest. The oldest and has the biggest bulge. After the festival ended, we went to the center of the island where the indigenous people of Sri Lanka live. In the middle of the jungle were peacock hunters, even though hunting it is banned globally. But they are indigenous people and do not follow any laws. Veda. What? What do you mean? Ah, ah it's like greeting. Okay, okay. Yes! Oh my die! These are the Veda tribes. Here in the middle of the jungle, in the middle of Sri Lanka. <laughs> what? You you gonna Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, I interrupt you. Uh, this is the leader. Look how Sri Lankans greet. Here is their hunting tools. These tribes are the only ones who can hunt peacocks here. In the middle of the jungle. Peacock. We are in the middle of the jungle in Sri Lanka. They eat peacocks. As they say, it is rich in proteins. They can do whatever they want because they are indigenous people. There are no laws that can stop them. Look at this. I think they're looking for its footprints. Here? A peacock passed through here? I don't know where it usually is, on the trees or... There it is. These people are not kidding. They plucked his feathers immediately. The peacock is gone. I don't know if I'll be able to eat it or not. This is a peacock. We're not used to eating it. I believe we respect peacocks. Some countries impose fines if you kill it. Even here in Sri Lanka, hunting it's it banned. is banned. It's cooking time now. They have the peacock. This is their life. They gather to eat lunch together. Okay, ah, go, go down. Sorry, sorry. We're now in the kitchen. This is their kitchen. By the lake, no plates or anything. He just grabbed it and threw it into the fire. It's, it's like, like a chicken, chicken with its feathers removed. This is a female, that's why her feathers are brown. The male feathers, of course, are distinctively blue. But we didn't find a male today. They caught a female. <laughs> This is the peacock. Now he added the curry, of course. It looks like a tagine. Tagine? Peacock. Spicy. No spicy? I don't believe you. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna try the peacock for the first time. It's very good. But it tastes like chicken. And then a little bit of uh, the curry. Oh, the mayo, the mayo. Oh, the mayo. 